Hey, bingo addicts. Today we're going to discuss what's in your bingo bag. Uh, as you can see here, I have my bingo bag. I like this one. I have several, but I like this one because of the straps. You know, the older bingo bags, they have the little strings and sometimes it cuts into your fingers. I don't like that, but I like this. I also have like bingo bag backpacks and tote bags, all kind of different stuff. Anyway, so the primary thing for a bingo bag is to have you have all your bingo essentials that you need. Like daubers, of course, which of course this one's one of my favorite. It smells like bananas, it's really cool. And yellow is my favorite da dauber color. Oh, uh, we got orange, lime green, and so on. Um, I also carry a back scratcher, because while you're sitting there, you might want to scratch your back. Uh, lotion, you're gonna need hand lotion, and of course your Germex. Um, pens and pencils. I carry these because I jot down um, who sells me what pull tabs. And sometimes you got to take notes and just different little add-ins that you have. Uh, I carry this all the time because back when I first started playing bingo, when they had computers, you it, the computers didn't do everything for you. You had to like tap your numbers in or just tap the number and say, okay, enter. And that's why I still carry this. I don't know. It's just something I do. All right. Um, glue. So paper players know about glue. Usually we use the glue to glue our papers down because they slip on the bingo tables a lot. So that's annoying. So always have glue. Be prepared. Also, you never know when you're going to play black light bingo. So I always carry a glue in a dark dauber. When I know I'm going to like big disco party bingo or something to that effect, I always bring all my daubers because it looks really cool while you're daubing your paper. And especially if the bingo hall has the the paper that glows in the dark as well, it's like really, really cool. So um, I think uh, one of the bingo halls here will be doing that soon. So that's kind of cool. They do it, I think, once a month or something. <clears throat> um, I also carry a little pull tab holder. I actually got this on Amazon to set. This is actually a passport holder and this is like a business card holder, but I put like uh, pull tabs and stuff in there. Um, here's an old pull tab. We played these yesterday. See that, 10 and two. And of course these didn't win. So that's why I still have them. Um, some bingo halls have contests where they say, hey, if anyone in, here, in the room, it's like a treasure hunt, has like a bingo lottery ticket or a lottery ticket or whatever you can get a hundred dollars i always carry these just in case but what's crazy is that usually if i don't have my bingo bag that's when they call those <laughs> those those contests and I, I don't have my bingo bag so i don't win it anywho let's put this back in here what else all right uh gloves Corel wipes to wipe down my table Altoids, bingo snacks. You always gotta have snacks. Miss Donna and Miss Walterine usually have snacks for me, uh, but they have snacks. What is this? Oh, these are ticket holders, and this is Tubby. Tubby has been around for a few years. I ended up getting this. I don't know if I got this at a casino bingo where they had like the bingo novelties or not, but I like Tubby. Um, I never hardly actually use the ticket holder. Only like if I go to the big casino games, like in Vegas, the bingo games, because you got to always have your ticket out. You got to display it at all times. I think you have to do that here too, but we usually just staple it on our program and just sit it down on the table. All right. What else? Floss picks, because you're usually eating at bingo. And here I usually carry like other little additives. Uh, my bingo mask. Uh, I always carry Zoltar. When I first went to Vegas, I we walked literally down the entire strip and down by Circus Circus at this little store right across the street from Circus Circus is the Zoltar machine. And I got this back in like 2005. So I always just carry it. It's just something I do. So he told me about my fortune. And here we go. So I have my bingo mask in there and other random stuff that I don't need. Just keep it in there. Um, oops. Tubby, you fell. Um, binoculars. 
I like to sit in the front so I can see the balls, but sometimes you don't make it there in time to get your favorite seat. Or if you go to another bingo hall where other people have their favorite seats, and which is usually in the front, you want to be able to see your ball. So I use my binoculars. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Another snack. You got to have a phone charger and I always keep it charged. In my bingo bag, I have another little thing. Some people like Buddhas. This lady gave me this Buddha. Oh, and I've gotten stuff on me. Look at that. Okay. Uh, alcohol and hand sanitizer get your bingo ink off of you. Even if it stays on for a couple of days, it'll get it off. You get in the shower, sometimes the red will not come off no matter what you do. You can scroll with Comet. I'm telling you, it's not coming off unless you get some alcohol. Anyway, uh, someone gave me a little Buddha. I use them every once in a while. Uh, more lotion. Anybody knows me knows that I love 075. I was born in 75, and this is like one of my favorite numbers because Force 15 brings it in. I've won 75 on the coverall several times. Um, Mingo people have a lot of superstitions, and I do too. So I have my blessed oil so I can get a, keep the bad energy away. So that's my blessed oil that my granny, she passed away in 2014, but she blessed me with two different bottles of oil that she blessed. And so I keep it with me at all times. And I use it if just in case I got to shake them haters off. And of course, the mints and some more change and stuff. So let's put this back in here. I'm going to put this in here too. And Tubby, I'm going to put you in here as well. Go on in there, Tubby. I don't believe in the troll look, but I thought he was so cute with the little belly. I bought it. Um, This. This is a very much needed thing for bingo addicts. Actually, I was talking to one of my friends, I think it was yesterday, and we were talking about how we end up spending all our winnings right back in the bingo hall. So I told her what I did a few years ago, one of my best bingo buddy ever, and I'll give you a story about uh, her another time. She's the one that got me hooked on bingo computers and pull tabs. So shout out to Stephanie for that. But anyway, um, we would win like all this money and then we would walk out the door or still have to go to the ATM and get more money because we're like, we just won $2,000. Where's our money at? So what we did was I came up with the idea. I found these on Amazon and you can still get these to this day now. I think they're like either $12.99 or $14.99 and you get them on Prime, you get two day free shipping. But when I win something, I take half that money and put it in here. I don't have the key. The key is literally at home. So when I win, I put half my money in here and then I can spend the other half if I want to. Um, that way I know I'm coming home with money. That doesn't mean it gives you the ability to just go to the ATM anyway and spend the money because you, you're diffusing the whole purpose of having this. So the other key is inside here, but you cannot get it out of here by nothing in the world. In order for me to get this money, I, I would literally have to break this bank and I don't want to do that. So I take half my money and it's money in here now because I won yesterday. Um, I won at daytime bingo and I won it uh, one last night. So it should be, if I won 500 in daytime, that's two and then I won 750 and then I won another five. So 12, 13. it should be some money in here. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so the key is at home. I don't carry it. A lot of bingo owners or managers probably don't want, don't like this idea because the whole purpose of them to make money and for you to make money is to uh, spend more money. So if you want a mega dab and you spend about $300 out of that mega dab, that's, you know, that's good because you're putting the money back and you're giving yourself more chances to win. However, if you win a mega dab and you spend that whole mega dab back, you walk out the building looking crazy. <laughs> so at least I would have half my mega dab in here. When I walk out the door, I'm like, hey, I know I got five, six, seven hundred dollars or maybe a thousand dollars. Whatever I win is half of it in here. So um, that's what's in my bingo bag. If you don't want to carry a whole bingo bag, and I suggest this to a lot of ladies because bingo daubers usually... Uh, pop sometimes or they leak and you don't want to get it all on your hands or in your nice bags because I've ruined a bunch of purses like that. I went and I found this on Amazon as well and it was only like six or seven bucks. Maybe I need to get some of these and sell them on my own, huh? And put the confessions of a bingo egg on there. Ah, idea. Light bulb. Uh, it's just something small and I carry my bingo daubers in here. These are the ones with glitter in it. 
Um, one of the must-haves you have for a woman is always have a bingo dauber. Now, I always carry one in my car, but I don't carry the big ones like this because these are pop if you live in Texas and it's hot. I carry a small one like this, and then I just put it on the side of the door because a true bingo addict will always have a dauber. You will never have to borrow a dauber at all. And, of course, I have blue in here, so, and a pen, because you never know. So, this is a good uh, deal to have, and you can just throw it in your purse, especially if you carry big purses like me. And you just roll around. And then on those days where I don't like to carry a person bingo, I can just throw this in my uh, my belt bag or your little wristlet or something like that. And you have one already. And then there's, a, there's another one that's smaller than this. Uh, it looks like a little pin. I don't like how they dog, but you can get those pretty much cheap. So what's in your bingo bag? And now you know what I carry. And don't be asking me for my snacks, everybody, because... I keep these in here for me. I'll give you an toy though. All right. Tell me what's in your bingo bags down in the comments or show me a picture of your bingo bag. That'll be cool too. All right. Good luck.